This woman spends her days at the station writing letters for people who can't read, but at night she comes home and opens the letters one by one. Not only did she share her privacy with others, she tore up the letters she thought were bad. If you think it's okay, they put them in a drawer full of letters, but she never sent any of the letters she promised to mail for others. She never sent any of them, but the boy's mother, who had just asked her to write a letter. She was hit by a bus while crossing the street. A person who was alive one second, in the blink of an eye, she was at the end of her life. The boy became a homeless orphan. The next day, the woman came to the station as usual, but saw the boy lying on the ground sleeping. She went up to him and gave him a piece of bread. She decided to take the boy to his father. She decided to take the boy to his father. Finally, they arrived at the town where the boy's father lived. They were guided by the locals. They came to a wide open farm. The boy was impatient. He wanted to see his father, whom he had never met. He waited for the man to come home. But he said he didn't know the boy. The woman thought he didn't want to recognize the boy. So she took out a letter from the boy's mother. But when the man read the letter's signature, he laughed and told both of them they were looking for the previous owner of the house. Then he took out an address from his room. The boy's father had long since moved out of the house. The boy's father had long since moved away from the house, so they could look for him at this address. When the boy heard the news, he was very upset. The women had to take him back to town. The boy found a business opportunity in the crowd. A woman wanted to write a message on the photo, but the owner of the Photoshop couldn't read or write, so she missed out on the business. The clever boy stopped the woman and told her that she had been a teacher. He could write it for her. It only cost a dollar. And so the woman started her old job. The boy shouted at the stall and gradually more and more people came to write letters for her. The woman stared at a post office for a long time. Under the boy's watchful eye, she walked slowly into the post office. She mailed the promised letters one by one. Soon the car arrived. They were finally on their way to their final destination. A young man heard they were looking for someone. He came up to them and started talking to them. He turned out to be the boy's father's son and half-brother. The brother invited them to his home. Here the boy saw a picture of his parents. The boy was looking forward to seeing his father whom he had longed for day and night. But one of the brothers took out a letter from his father six months ago. The woman reads it. The letter was basically a message about him going to look for his wife. He hoped that one day the family would be reunited. It also mentioned the two brothers, but not a word about the boy. The woman quietly opened the door. She took one last look at the sleeping boy. Then she hand-delivered the two letters that the boy's mother had asked her to write. Finally, in the darkness of the night, the woman left without a word.